Hola! Bom dia! And welcome to the Sunset Saudade Project! It's time for Garden Overhaul! Um, it's, it's market, market Monday, market Monday. So Charlotte's gonna go shopping, and I'm gonna go into work. So yes, it's time to get all of our winter vegetable supplies. Mm -hmm. um, by that, I just mean I'm getting a lot of seedlings. They're very cheap from the market, so sometimes it's not even worth trying to grow it because they're like some of them are like ten cents, or you get like six for a euro. Yeah. Or, so it is. It does work out. Um, to get them from here yeah quite we're gonna quite, quite affordable she's gonna be good and then she's gonna buy some pots as well to yeah so that we bits. can overwinter i've never done it before we're gonna try and overwinter some of our chili plants mm. um and, uh, and you're gonna get some some soil as well right yeah Lovely. and then i think that's it might get a few bulbs for the spring um yeah all right let's see what we can find Ooh, that jump in here let's I'm gonna go grab some lunch <laughs> and then we'll go to the farm store and get some garlic and soil because we're gonna need it I've, I've bought a lot <laughs> welcome to the farmer's car <laughs> um sorry I forgot to film in Agri Lodger. I'm a little bit hungover truth be told and my brain's not quite with it I'm gonna show you what we've got once we got home obviously we've got some soil and some pots and things um I did get a few more bulbs don't kill me Carlos <laughs> but there's a purpose for the bulbs I find in early spring when you've got lots of flowering things a lot of the actual flowers aren't out yet so if I get lots of um blue flowers and like i think we've got some come on what they're called but they're like they start flowering like february here um as well as some blue pansies things like that it'll help bring the bees in to our garden and help pollinate some of our fruits and whatnot um and hopefully we'll get more cherries and all the good things because we've got some pots near the 
the cherry farm bit so let's see it's a lot warmer than i thought and it's hair wash day so now i can't take off my hat because i look disgusting Woohoo! also also get a load of this i won't be able to film it but look how beautiful i really hope it picks it up how beautiful the mountains are this time of year they're so orange all the cherry farms um i'll see if i can get some film that next week for you um obviously i won't be able to do that in the car right i'm rabbit him i'll see you later <laughs> Bring the wheelbarrow to put the dead bits of plant. Um, okay. I'm gonna yank as much as I can out. I think. No, don't yank. You I'm gonna chop. chop them and then put the stuff in the in the wheelbarrow. Yeah, because then the, the roots rot and feed the soil. This is no dig. <laughs> to all of you who are wondering, why haven't they? Why have they let the weeds get like this? All of this wasn't here two weeks ago. The weather's changed, the heat was there, and then we had the rain, and it just made all of this grow. So, it's literally, yeah, it's grown so quickly, um, but we need to get stuff in now for the winter. Um, a lot of these plants, I think, so these aubergine, I've actually still got some aubergines on here. I've actually got a massive one, which is really late. So I'm not sure. Hello, Gatinha. Are you coming for cuddles? Um, but all of the peppers need to come out. I bought some pots. We're going to try and overwinter the peppers. They're actually still producing peppers, which is crazy. The basil is starting to bolt. So I think we just have to trim and dry the basil. All the tomatoes in the cages need to come out because they're dead, obviously, now. Eventually, I'll need to trim all the vines. All of the corn needs to be chopped. The kale is going to be left because the kale is doing fine. But I will come back at a later date and mulch. Well, we just need to take back control of this garden. Oh my God, there's so much. Um, let's just get rid of everything and start planting this year's stuff. Oh my goodness. These chives have gone crazy. They've gone mad. Lovely. I remember we had those are there. In all of the growth that comes
finishing getting rid of the things on this bed i thought i'll quickly go through everything that i bought for the garden was i ambitious possibly but do you know what you've got to have a little ambition in life otherwise you don't get your winter veg by the way there's a few reasons why we didn't do this earlier when it was the end of summer and it was still quite hot anything i tried to plant instantly died i think next year i'm hoping we can start maybe putting a little bit of irrigation in so that in the summer i can start planting things for the autumn and so it's more of a cycle but the weather here is just harsh and if you don't have like proper watering systems in often it just dies back it's a leaf cutter Bee. Have you just started his little house? Uh, I think so. I don't know. I was, he was just bumbling about. I can't believe you've done this. Anyway, we're just going to smash it out. What's the worst that can happen? Um, we're thinking Carlos is going to de-weed and then I plant and we're going to move along the garden and see how much we can get done in one day. Although one thing that really has to happen is we need to repot the chilli peppers into the pots that I bought them. So, what did I get, you ask? So, I did get a few bulbs so that we can have flowers earlier in the year next year. So some of them I got from the market and I don't actually know which ones are which. So I'm just gonna randomly plant them around and hope for the best. Um, I've tried to go for more purples and blues because apparently that brings bees to your garden. Um, and one thing we did suffer from, I'd say last year, is we didn't have enough flowers when we were trying to pollinate things. So this year we should have more bluey flowers earlier in the season so that beans, peas, things like that get pollinated. I've got alliums. Uh, I've got, I don't know what these are called in English. I used to know, but I've forgotten. Um, they're really pretty though. How cute are they? We've got some tulips. We've got, Oh, I got more irises because they're really pretty. They, we actually have loads that grow wild around the farm or they were planted by people a long time ago and they just keep coming back, but they're so beautiful and they start really early. So we've got, ah! What you scared the life out of me, Mr. B? He's off, look. It's after me flowers. See? Have a jolly good time, Mr. B. Good job, Charlotte. <laughs> He's still in his sack. I'll get him out in a minute. He's big, eh? That's a big boy. <laughs> it scared the life out of me. It was so big it made me jump. Yeah, I also got some pansies. Oh, as you can see, that's probably what our Mr. B was after. Um, I can't remember what these are called. My mum loves them. So I got some. Oh, I've got some hyacinths. But they're somewhere. Uh, yeah, here you go. All my bulbs. Here they are. Um, so we should have some literally flowers from now right through into spring early summer and of course i'm going to plant some other things i'm thinking of buying echinacea and stuff like that that we could plant as perennials around the garden as well seed wise i got some more peas some more spinach and we've got carrots and radishes um i also got garlic it was the last pack i know it's a little bit late to plant them but they should be fine we haven't had our frost yet so hi Ella we have got some winter onions and I'm just gonna try and show you this was so 12 plants for a euro we've got whoop, try not to fall over red cabbages broccoli but like the little broccolini broccolini yeah broccolini we've got um, sweetheart cabbage, cauliflower, we've also got coentrouge e salsa. What's that in English, Carlos? Uh, 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 I forgot. Coriander, Coriander and, and parsley. Parsley, parsley that's the <laughs> um, They put it all in one bag, so I don't quite know what's what. Oh, I've got some Brussels sprouts as well. But it's mostly just brassicas. I did. Um, get some seedlings well I pl make planted some seedlings for winter lettuce 
we're just basically going to do a bit of chaos gardening this year i think i'm not going to have set spaces for everything and what i'm going to do is plant the flowers throughout the garden i'm going to use the garlic i'm going to plant that throughout all of the beds um because it deters things like aphids and whatnot a lot of our seedlings got eaten by aphids so use the garlic to keep away the horrible beasties and then flowers be planted throughout garlic throughout onions throughout and i'm just going to randomly place things and hope for the best what can go wrong what can go wrong <laughs> oh and of course we'll put some seeds of like carrots and whatnot in little patches work out where they grow best if we need to fill any spaces Sorry, that was me rabbiting at you for a long while. We'll just have to see how it goes, I guess. Oh, and I want to plant peas all along that wall. The fence, should I say. Should because I just did a little peas. section last year. Yeah. And I love peas. I'm British. I love peas. Peas, peas. <laughs> right, back to the overhaul of the garden. Before I start planting, I just want to show you as well. It is November, guys. Look at the size of this. Look at him! We're going to leave this one until it... Well, we're going to har... I think we'll harvest that... I'm probably going to say Friday. I'm going to harvest him because I think our first frost... Maybe Saturday, Sunday. But I'm going to... I'm going to... Yeah. We're going to leave him in for today and then we'll worry about him later. I might get some more flowers next week. Let's see. More flowers? <laughs> I think I need some more pansies. I've only got a couple. guys so charlotte's gone for a little bit of a break she's gone to get me the harvesting basket 
I am going to repot the pepper plants and harvest them. Okay, so they are in this sad little state at the, the moment. There are a couple here, you know, there's a green pepper there. There's another there, which is pretty cool. These are chili peppers, but one hide away. Oh, uh, I just accidentally broke this bit. Sorry, pepper. Uh, oh, it had a flower on it. Charlotte's gonna kill me. But yeah, so um, I'm gonna basically um, dig through the bottom of these ones and I'm gonna pop, pop them in those things over there. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of soil and I'm gonna try my best. Oh, there's some of these. <gasps> Look at these boys. Oh, mate, amazing. Yes, yeah, a bunch of these, they're still going which is amazing uh we're going to put them inside because the frost is coming and they they don't like the frost so wish me luck I gotta put a bit of soil in here first, right? On the top. Yeah, put a little bit on the bottom. Where's my it is like this much for this line? Oh there's there's a line here. Drawn. Oh. That's a cool design. What's what? I don't like to label things. These are big. I think these are the tulips, which I want to put the front corner really. So I'll put those there. Shall I put an iris here? I'm going to put an iris here. Damn, look at all the chilies on that. I know, right? It's got a lot of them. <laughs> Am I doing it properly? Oh. Some of these are weeds, you see. That, this is a weed here. What's that? that is such a good chilli plant. I really want to get a close-up of that in a minute. Go on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> In. That's a big old plant. Um, I would pull it up a bit and put some more soil on the bottom to be yeah. honest. Yeah. You want that bit on the top, don't you? Ah. Like this. Yeah. Down. down a bit more. Put some more on the bottom. Keep going. Okay now. <laughs> it's a happy chili plant. <laughs> it's it's, it, no, th th this was fallen over before. Um, maybe put a stake in it to stop it. We will. What we'll do is we'll trim back, trim it back. Yeah. One. It's probably Happy. blocked out by that other one. What's that? It was probably blocked out by that yeah. other one. <laughs> was, it, was it that bee? <laughs> it just hit it. Oh, no. Oh, a lot of soil left today. I'm surprised. I'm put some more herbs in, I think.
Oh, I don't know what's going in. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> This one doesn't have a lot of roots compared to the other one. It's a lot smaller. I literally have no idea what I'm planting where. But do you know what? YOLO. <laughs> have we planted it? That looks kind of like that one. This doesn't look like a lot of roots, does it? It doesn't seem like a lot to me, but... Maybe. It doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Or no, that looks quite small, huh? Maybe I saw too many. I don't think I did, though. I don't think... I think that was... That looks like a cabbage. Oh, we'll, we'll see what, what it says. The route to go a bit deeper. All right, first bed of arguable chaos gardening is done i'm going to move on to the one behind me now um, i haven't got any more tulips in i'm thinking i might put some nice little flowers at the front let me break down our chaos bed it's very experimental this year but i feel like we're still going to do better than last year because we've put lots of fertilizers and nice cow manure in we've got so around the edge here we've mostly got garlic and onions but dotted in between we have got a couple of bulbs at the front here we've got some hyacinths which i'm really looking forward to was it hyacinths oh i don't know actually well there's something in the front anyway <laughs> um, and then i've put the red cabbage at the front because i know they don't get very tall and then everything behind it's like little bits of herbs dotted in between me brassicas. I don't know how it's going to go down. I'm going to feed it regularly. I have got some sangrusecca, which is blood meal. I'm going to dabble a little bit over the bed of that as well to give them a nice good start before the cold comes. And Carlos is just finishing the last pepper plant. Yay! <laughs> so these are supposed to be padron peppers. But I'm pretty sure it's been cross-pollinated. Yeah, they were next to our chili yeah. pepper. Because again, when we bought them, they put them all in one bag. And of course, they look exactly so the we same. So we got chili padron peppers, you know? I think I've done a pretty good job. It's a good drinking game. Yeah. Chili padrons. Chili padrons. <laughs> <laughs> will you get a hot one? Will you not? Hey. <laughs> okay, not too close to me, though. Ooh. No, you seriously can't. That's not funny. It's just a little worm. It's not little, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's trying to work. <laughs> She's kneading on your back. I know she loves me, bless her. You getting comfy? Katinya. 
Oh, she's absolutely purring like crazy. <laughs> she never used to do this, did she? Bless no. her. Miss Katinia? <laughs> she's all right. Can you pass me the thing for the knees? Because I'm old and rickety. Needless to say. Needless to say. <laughs> been doing this flower bed here uh, where, where we had some flowers before there's some wild mushrooms but as you can see around it I've there's lots of mint right and this is why it's hard to get rid of mint look how deep that root goes and it's got so many shooters it's coming so out. many shooters and it just kills off anything so I've tried my best to get rid of as many as possible Charlotte's gonna try and plant some bits put some cardboard to see if we can stop the mint from from growing back because we don't want to be too minted. No. No. It's not even good mint, it's peppermint. It's peppermint. I mean, it's good for good tea. Good for teas. But, <laughs> that's but, about it. But that's about it, you know. We're, we're not much of tea drinkers, you know. Leave down in the comments uh, if you're a fan of peppermint tea. Yeah, we'll ship you some. Yeah. <laughs> We've got enough. <laughs> Mate, literally. That bed behind you is riddled with it. That Wh long one? one. The long bed behind you. Oh my goodness. I can't, oh my days. That's going to be a nightmare. Yeah. Yep. I've also just finished the second bed, cool. Gatinha. Um, trying to help, not really, but we've got some red cabbages and we've got lots of bulbs in the front. Um, and we've also got the Egyptian walking onions in here. Um, see what that looks like in the spring. I think, yeah, it's gonna be very, very beautiful. I need to get some of my flowers in which is usually what that middle bed is for. So I'm gonna get some of the ones I've actually bought to try and bring some bees into the garden so that when the peas sprout along this wall, we're gonna have some bees and pollinators around. I'm not sure, Carl, whether truly finished deweeding that bed though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, just to be fair, I'm almost done. I just need five more minutes, but yeah, all of the cardboard's gone, sadly. But... Well, that's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. It, the, but the soil is looking really good it, from it's the... It's really healthy, it's really good, you know. Yeah, so. I'm, yeah 10 out of 10 would recommend no dig. We love it.
light, lads. There's no more light. We'll see you in the morning. Ah, I'm so hungry. <laughs> we work like crazy people today. We've done a whole garden, considering the state it was before. Absolutely. I just want to get rid of these mints. I'll be another five minutes. Charlotte's going to cook and I'm going to make a... Uh, and I'm going to walk the dogs out. And we'll play some Pokemon at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> So today we are predicted the first of the rain slash possibly snow, they are now saying. Um, I don't think we'll get snow here, but I think the Sarah Distrella will, which seems early, but we actually had a bit of snow in October on the Sarah Distrella this year, so it's a little unnerving. Um, now it's daylight, let me show you how much we got done. So this morning, Carlos de-weeded this bed, this bed, and that bed um they could maybe do a little bit more but i'm gonna top stuff on and then mulch it so i'm not too worried noodles if you try and dig up anything you're dead so those three will need planting and we still have this is the one that he did last night this long one um at some point I need to actually get some seeds in as well. I think the peas, we will have to wait till next week. The plan is to do all along this fence, the whole way. We have two beds in along this bit of the fence at the moment, but as you can see, my dead sunflowers are still in there. Um, and the dead beans are in that one. This one needs completely de-weeding and actually turning into a proper bed as well as this one. So it might be better to do that next week. Um, I did manage, so I got one, two, three, four beds planted yesterday. Got some flowers in here. I'm gonna buy some extra flowers for there, I think. Just make it nice and full and really pretty. Um, it's right in the center of garden as well, so hopefully that'll bring all the like bees to the center and then as they go out they go oh look there's a flower there let's make some peas <laughs> this one we've got bulbs and we're walking onions here and then we've got red cabbages this plant i don't want to get rid of it i'm just going to see what happens i'm going to have an experiment all of our um all of the peppers are inside and i will be cu cutting them back probably tonight once it starts raining um so that they're ready to be overwintered this one, again, we just did a similar bulbs and whatnot around the edge um, and onions and stuff to keep away the pests. I think that's everything. I've told you what's in the other ones. But I need to get planting some more. So I'm going to mix up some soil and get the rest of the veggies in. So I've still got a whole bag. <laughs> did I buy too much? Possibly. We've got... All of these onions, oh that's not an onion, that's a, there we go. All of these onions, 
We've got a couple of bulbs here. I got more bulbs, more bulbs. I think with these bulbs, I'm actually going to put them out the front where our strawberries were. Um, the strawberries weren't very happy in there, and someone did warn us that apparently you shouldn't eat things from inside tyres. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but thinking about it, yeah, maybe. Um, so we'll just use that as flower pots instead for the future, and we'll get lots of nice flowers as we drive in. But yeah, I've still got all of these and all of this garlic possibly bought too much but i will make it work okay let's go make some soil on a bit of a mission because I don't know if you can see behind me but I think the rain is nearly here but I've just finished getting all of the plants that I bought in I still have a few bulbs and I've got some seeds and I've got this one long bed left for me carrots I'm gonna put some spinach seeds in along the back of this wall so they're a bit more protected they don't like too much sun and I'll put my bulbs around the corner and I think we're done. I'm also going to dust just a few random little spots where there's not much going on. I'm going to put some radishes in while stuff is growing because they're very quick. <sighs> it's very cold. <sighs>
if the camera's picking it up, we can hear it on the roof. The rain is just starting. All I've got, oh, all I've got are the bulbs left. I'm gonna quickly rush and move the bulbs around here. And I'm gonna go inside and have me some fish and chips because I'm starving. <laughs> all right, everyone, the garden has survived the mad storm that came through that we weren't expecting. <laughs> um, and it looks like, yeah, most of the plants are doing well. It's surviving, it's thriving. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, next video might be a little bit different, just a heads up because we've got family round. So if it is a little bit different compared to usual, that's why. Um, but we will see you next week. We're gonna film a nice, peaceful, tranquil video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.